Hey, good morning everyone. This is The Road Biker. Uh, I'm going to be doing a short video this morning talking about a change that I made to my road bike. And uh, the reason I made the change was to um, help me alleviate some neck pain that I was getting as a result of riding the bike. Uh, as many of you know, when you get into road biking, um, you're riding in a different position than you would uh, on most other bikes. Um, I had a hybrid bike that I was riding for a month or two before I picked up this bike. Um, and um, as an example, that bike, I'm sitting uh, pretty much upright on a comfortable saddle with straight bars. And uh, consequently, um, you don't have the impact that you generally have when you're in the riding position on a road bike where you're bent over, leaning into the handlebars and so forth. So I want to talk about my replacement of um, the riser that holds the handlebars on my bike to uh, alleviate that problem for me. So I did some research online and what I discovered was um, this is not an uncommon thing. People getting into road biking uh, very often uh, takes them a, a while to adjust to the riding position. And in many cases, um, it uh, affects you in the neck muscles and it uh, causes you to have uh, sore necks, stiff necks, uh, pains in the neck, so to speak, from the riding position. And one of the things that was, one of the things that I found that uh, suggested a remedy to that problem was this thing here, which is called an adjustable riser. And essentially what it is, is uh, it's the uh, component that holds the, your handlebars to your front forks. In this case, it has an adjustment right here that you can increase or decrease the angle of um, or the position of your handlebars so they are raised up or lowered uh, to help you with your riding position. Um, it replaces naturally the riser on your bike. So for those of you who are not familiar with the terms of uh, the components of your bike, which I'm sure all of you are, this is your riser. It's connected to your front forks and it connects the handlebar to the bicycle. This angle here determines how high up the handlebars are. So the real problem turned out to be that um, when I replaced my standard riser with the adjustable riser, I made a, um, an adjustment where the handlebars came up quite a bit, which gave me much more comfort in riding the bike. But the downside is, by bringing the handlebars up quite a bit, I was stretching not only my shifting, but my brake cables. That was a very bad idea, and it caused me problems shifting, and a little problems with braking, but more shifting. The other thing that I found out uh, is in further research is when you do something like that, you're really changing the geometry and the configuration of the bike. And what I also found was, specifically when I was riding downhill and picking up any, quarter, any sort of speed, the bike became very squirrely. The front end didn't behave uh, comfortably and it actually made me very nervous. And doing a little more research on it, I found out that your handlebars and their position relative to the front wheel make a lot of difference in how the bike performs and behaves and adjusts and it affects its stability. And ultimately what I did was I took my riser that came with the bike and I flipped it over. So normally when this attaches to the bike, it was lower down on the stem. It was upside down from the position it's in now so it made its position relative to the bike very level and it therefore lowered the handlebar. So essentially all I did was flip it over, which increased the height slightly and it gave me much more comfort in riding the bike. And so in my judgment, this guy here, the adjustable riser, I don't really think is a smart idea. Um, it can cause instability in the bike. It does add a little bit of weight to your bike if you're concerned about that sort of thing. And actually what I did find as a remedy to my problem of having neck pain was very simple. 
What I do very simply is occasionally I just get off the bike. I ride for about 10 miles, maybe 12 miles, somewhere in the area of nearly an hour or less, generally speaking. And I get off the bike, I take a walk, I have a little drink of water. Um, I bring along a bag of trail mix with me and have a little snack. And by doing that, it changes obviously um, your riding position over time because you, you get more relaxed. Uh, the other thing that I found that helped me relax more on the bike, uh, or at least alleviate my neck pain, was uh, when riding along, I would very often uh, start looking down for a short time, a very short time when I feel it's safe, or specifically when I'm climbing a hill. Uh, and especially if I can be, if I'm on the road climbing a hill and uh, there's a there's a there's a line paint on this painted on the side of the road. Uh, I will follow that line as I'm looking down a little bit to take the stress off my neck. In other words, stop looking up so much, look down a little bit. So that helped me quite a bit. This item here, I don't recommend. Um, I think it's more trouble than it's worth. And uh, as far as adjustable risers go, yay or nay, I say don't buy them. Uh, come up with something else to help you with your riding position. So thanks for watching this morning, and uh, this is a road biker, and we'll see you next time.